Om Shri Sai Ram. Offering my most humble salutations at the Divine Lotus feet of our most beloved Master, Bhagwan Shri Satya Sai Baba. I collectively offer prayers on behalf of all the millions and billions of people all over the world to the Divine Master for His grace so that all of us can successfully get over this tremendously dangerous pandemic that mankind is facing. The coronavirus has really affected the psyche of every human being, physically, mentally, and deep down in the hearts of people. There is a sense of fear. There's a sense of uncertainty, a sense as to what is to happen. We at the Sri Satya Sai Seva Organizations India have been blessed by Bhagwan that we could immediately react to the pandemic onset a few months ago. Moment we realized the magnitude of the problems that mankind would face, the strong force of the Sri Satya Sai Seva Dal throughout the length and breadth of this country, in every state of this country, jumped into action. Firstly, with self-discipline. They ensured that the lockdowns were obeyed very strictly. They ensured that all service activities which required their attention were carried out with great precaution, with proper preparation, wearing of the mask, the social distancing, and the question of using sanitizers diligently was immediately put into action because self-protection, discipline, and obedience to the precautionary measures was immediately realized as of paramount importance. In my interaction with the Honorable Prime Minister of India, this fact was highlighted. The Honorable Prime Minister also stressed that the spiritual organizations have a great access to people. And therefore, it was mandatory and important for the spiritual organizations to embark upon the great campaign of creating awareness amongst the people of the precautions that are required to be taken. The biggest problem that India faced was migrant laborers who have forced to migrate from one place to their hometowns. And the suffering that they had on their way back home is unbelievable. But here too, the Satsai organization took all its care to ensure that everything possible within the means of the Satsai organization could be done to help the migrant workers in terms of food. Sanitizers, masks, face shields, in great numbers were distributed throughout the length and breadth of the country. The Satya Sai Seva organization has been, during this pandemic, rendering human service, the value of which is really immeasurable, because the love and the sacrifice of the people is immeasurable. In this sense, I am extremely happy that a great organization like UNICEF has come forward to give us the correct training, a proper training to our Seva Dal, so that they in turn can go with confidence amongst the masses of country to give them the correct information, to give them the right information, and to also show them the correct precautions that are required to be taken to protect ourselves from the impact of the pandemic. The UNICEF has come forward with all its knowledge and expertise and offered to train our Sevadal on this noble cause in extraordinary difficult times of the COVID-19 pandemic. We have initially started with 2,000 of our Sevadal volunteers to be trained by the UNICEF in the states of Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, and Karnataka. And once this process is over, I do hope that many, many more, our strength of a few lakhs of Sevadal throughout the country would join in and we would empower every Sevadal with the right knowledge and the right experience to go to the masses and create awareness so that, as they say in the English language, a stitch in time saves nine. If precautions are taken, if the importance of the mask is understood, the importance of social distancing is understood, if the importance of using sanitizers is understood, and keeping cleanliness everywhere is understood, I think most of the battle can be won, is our firm belief and conviction. I take this opportunity to thank the UNICEF for coming forward with their training module so that our Sevadal can benefit out of it and we can carry this mission forward to ensure the safety of our men and women and children and elders especially in this beautiful country of India. Jai Sai Ram and thank you very much.